Next one. Direct labor bearings. That one also we do for the two as they are given as I. Direct labor rate bearings. Now, the direct labor rate variance is based on the actual hours used. It's based on the actual hours used. So, we will say this, that 1,500 hours should have cost... What is the standard rate per hour? Standard rate per hour. 18. Ghana cents. So, 1,005 by 18, what do we have? 27,000. But this cost, how much did we actually pay? For the labor? 30,000. So, good or bad? Bad. So, the variance Is an adverse variance of 3,000 Ghana cities. That is the labor rate variance. Then we come to the second one. Direct labor efficiency variance. Direct labor efficiency variance. Now, like within here, the direct labor efficiency variance is also based on the units produced. The units produced. So, what do we say? We say that 1,500 units should have used. What is the standard usage per unit? From our standard cost card, it is what? One hour. That each unit should use one hour. So 1,500 times 1 hour, and that is going to be 1,500 hours. But how many hours did we use actually? What was the actual hours? It's still 1,005. So here, yeah, there is no variance. So it ends there. It ends there. There is no variance. We are equal. So there is no need for any variance. Right there. Where did you get a thousand five units? It's given. That's what we've been using. Thousand five units here. Oh. Uh, okay, no, it I'm was seeing, given in the question. I was seeing that thousand. Yes, no. Right. This is five. So these are the four, the first four. So you can put it down and then let's look at the uh, overhead aspect for it. I mean, give me a throw. <laughs> so this figure should be 4, 3, 8, 7,
should have caused us. What is the standard variable overhead rate per hour? Standard variable overhead rate per hour. Eight. Ghana cities. So times eight. What do we have? Twelve thousand. I don't think to answer. Answer. Listen. Okay. The actual is equals standard. There is no variance, so we leave it blank like that, like we had in the lay on the labor. Yes. So we leave it blank like that. There is no variance. If the actual is what is called the standard. It means that we sort of like equilibrium, so we don't do anything. So the thousand five hours based on variable production overheads should cost us thousand two hundred. But how much did we pay? But then cost. What is the variable overheads? Vary. What is the variable overheads? Eleven thousand nine hundred and twenty. That is how much we paid. In terms of variable overheads. So difference will give us the variance. So how much do we have? That should be like 80 Ghana. And that's favorable. So that is the variable overheads spending or expenditure variance. Which one? Yeah, we were told in the question that the variable overhead is based on labor hours. Um, so the actual labor hours is 1,005. And now based on our standard, no, variable overhead, no, every hour we pay 80. In this I have 1,005 hours, we multiply it. That's what, how we get it. Should have cost the budget. Then the actual we paid was 11,920. That's the idea. Then beta will be variable overhead efficiency variance. Now that is the same idea about the labor hours. Everything you hear about efficiency is based on units produced. It's based on units produced. So the labor hours, how many units did we produce? How many units? So 1,500 units should have used 1,500. That would be times one hour. Okay. So it would be 1,500, isn't it? But then use, what is the actual hours? Also 1,500. So there is no variance here. So again, variable by the efficiency variance, we won't get anything for it. Because the hours, this has a close relationship with the labor variance. In the results, we are with our labor variance difference, maybe it will be the same thing about the efficiency variance. That's the idea about that. So variable by the efficiency variance, name, we use the same hours we expect to use. And that's variable. Lastly, fixed overheads. Under fixed alpha, we have fixed overheads. Spending variance. Is that what they said? They <laughs> alpha. <laughs> 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 alpha one. So Cost variance. Now, when it comes to fix so wide cost variance, it's simple. You just compare your budget with the odds. Actual. That's simple. So, what is our budgeted fixed overhead? Thirty-four thousand, rather. And then actual fixed overhead, thirty-five thousand. So, what do we have? Favorable or adverse? Of one thousand Ghana. And then you go. 
So that's the answer to the question for 10 marks.